Hi folks, this is a tutorial for someone who you actually like me to create uh, a multiplication timetable with a uh, number selector, sort of like a random number selector. So I'm going to give it a go and uh, you guys can just follow along. Hi, this is a request tutorial of multiplication timetable with random number selector. So I'm just going to add more component onto this. And uh, in fact, this is a previous tutorial that I've actually uploaded it with the YouTube. So I'm going to add more component to this and. Uh, just convert it to what is required so what I'm going to be doing now is maybe let's copy let's rearrange all of this to something more user friendly we'll reduce the size of my timetable a little bit more Okay, then uh, the following buttons, bring them up here, this is my timetable buttons, and I have my reset button here, and uh, maybe exit button here, I think I'm going to need a couple more buttons, maybe put this here. And just more there. I have my reset button. Let's move that here. And maybe the number generator right there. So I will now change the text forward. And uh, change this to the sign back. And uh, I'm going to call this number, number generator. And I need one more. We want more button right there. I just call this, I call that my call that delete. Okay. We increase the font size as well. Yeah. So maybe I should reduce the font size. Bring this here a little bit. Maybe I'll reduce this a little bit more. Okay, so let's just shape this thing to about this size. Yeah, that's fine. And bring this in a little bit more, that's fine. And this is not too bad, that's good. So, the next thing we need to do now do is to start uh, programming the programming the components. Let's bring this down a little bit more. Come on, yeah, you can do it. Come on. 
that's fine. You see, I'm sort of like going to speed this up, get this centered. I think it's looking good. Yeah. So let's speed this up a little bit. Okay. I already have this tutorial on board. It's called, it's actually called the uh, um, how to create multiplication timetable using a uh, list box in uh, visualbasic.net. I already have that tutorial on board, but right now what I'm doing is, is just enhancing the whole tutorial. Okay. Okay, now the interface is ready, so let's just uh, run the program and see before we start writing the code. Okay, this is what we have so far. So if I enter a value in there, I press this, that's what I get. I end up with a with the six times table. But the whole idea is for me to be able to select any of these uh, data and be able to transfer it. Click on this very button here, transfer it from here to here, or from here, transfer it back in here, or click on the number generator and I end up with random numbers here or select an item and delete but I can't do that right now just because the following component one two three four they've not been programmed so I'm going to write a couple of uh, program just to make them carry out what I want them to do so for now uh, let's uh, go back to the programming environment or the code the coding area and get that sorted Okay, so let's go there now. So I'm going to double click on this very component of, I actually call that component BTN add. So let's double click on BTN add. Here we are now. So I'm in BTN add now. So what I'm going to first, first say is that if x equals empty, then Let's get a message box to sort out one or two things there. Let's ask it to enter a value. Enter a value in the text box. Okay, that's that done. I might as well make it look a little bit posh. Enter VB information device. And uh, maybe right here, let's, let's give it a name. And so I just call it captain, the captain speaking. Right. Okay, that's that done. The next thing I'm going to do now is uh, let's set focus. Let's set focus on the time on the text box itself. Oh, sorry, focus. There we go. Yeah, focus is done. Else, let's. Select dot items dot odd. What am I adding? Well, I'm actually adding content within the timetable. Okay, guys, dot text. So close that. So what I've just said here is let's correct that. If the timetable text box is a uh, list box is uh, empty, this message will pop up, and um, the text box focus will be set on the text box. Else, if there's content within the text box, then the list box item, the select item, with the selected item, will be added into the the following list box. Okay, so I'm going to now say list select dot asking it to sort equals true. Let's set the sort the item in order. Then uh, let's say 
list timetable dot item dot items dot remove out list list timetable dot select the selected index okay and now what we need to do is to actually end the if statement okay so what I'm going to do is just to give it a try and make sure it works as expected now I've run this program I'm just gonna enter a value there click on timetable so let's just select any of these and click on this very component and see if it yeah that's right it's working as expected that's exactly what I want so let me now program the other one so that I tell the item I can select the item and bring it back so I'm going to do that right now okay okay I've uh, actually finished writing the next line of code which is uh, to send the number back but if I run the program let me let me just debug the program you guys say so if I enter any value in there multiply okay click on the timetable that's what we have and I click on now uh, or let's say I click on that and just send it over to the next uh, this box okay I can always select this content or select this data and send it back can you guys see that so well, what I'm gonna do now is if I click on this all of this will go off but this is not going yet because the code for this is not been written yet and the number selector I'm yet to write that delete I'm yet to write that as well so let's go back into the code view okay so double click so I know the component I'll be writing my next uh, data into okay so let's just come here might as well just copy this and change it all over so click paste that in there that's called uh, list select that's it let's select it's covered then let's go back and generate some numbers double click and start generating the numbers so within the number generator I'm gonna be using what is known as random I believe you guys say uh, you all know that you all know about random number generator so what should I just call that? I should just call it select Maybe select select number as integer okay now I've got my selected number as integer then uh, call the random number function uh, where is it? Um, randomize randomize as follows okay that's good then uh, my select the variable that is declared let's just paste that in there and say equals integer and let's say 12 multiply by random okay and if you're not following don't worry I'm going to actually copy and paste this code into my sky drive you can always uh, get the code out of my phone from my sky drive so text equals uh, select which is the variable that I declared so now I'm going to say if the text dot equals zero then text just going to at least make it become one else and if okay let's just put a sign equals here sorry guys 
equals yeah that's fine but that's that sorted so I'm just gonna try out this now and see how it works uh, sorry about that before trying it out I think the bracket let me just take up the bracket okay so let's try it out and see how it works So let's try adding num random generator or number generator. Okay, that's good. Check it out with, with the timetable. You see how it works now, guys. Okay, that goes there. Select any other number. Good. And we'll return the number. Okay, that's fine. So this is how the random number generator works. So the next thing is I should be able to select any number there and click on delete. So let's get that sorted now. So to make the delete work, we go back into the component, double click on the delete and ask the following number generator to actually delete something. Let me just copy this because that's more or less like my delete. I just need to change this to timetable which is the name of my which is the name of my component and that is my delete so just change this because I only want you to delete just one particular number okay so let's go in there and delete and uh, get the number generator to generate something click select delete that's good see that I'm actually deleting one particular multiplication table there okay time uh, multiplication rule okay, delete and I can also send it to the next list box or send it back or reset the whole component Okay, guys, you see how it works. So let's run it one more time. Run the program. Paste it right there. Get the number generator to generate number one between num uh, numbers between one to twelve. Very timetable. Select if you want or if you wish. Okay, send it back if you want. Reset. Generate numbers. Timetable. Delete particular numbers that you don't want. Okay, end the program. And that is how my number generator works. The next thing is I'll just change this title to multiplication timetable and number generator so let's do that now okay go back here let's change the title to multiplication timetable multiplication timetable Okay, let's see. That's it. Multiplication timetable and number generator, guys. So, just like I said earlier on, generate your numbers. Click on timetable. Select and transfer it if you want to. And that is how this program works, folks. It's very easy to create. The code will be in my share drive if you want you can always uh, click on uh, subscribe and ask for the code and I will immediately email you the code okay have a nice day now bye